be discussing today the basic zero importation. For today, we have only one objective, and that is to learn how to import sales invoice and bills. The user access that you need is either you have an invoice only access, standard access, and advisor access. Now, the question is, when are you going to import? When are you going to use the importation features of zero? It is when you record the beginning balances of AR and AP, or the accounts receivable and accounts payable. And the second one is when you want to record on a weekly or a monthly basis the sales and purchases. So how are you going to do it? Is first, you have to download the template available in zero. For the sales invoice, you download the sales invoice template. And for the bills, you download the bills template in zero. So I will quickly demonstrate that and how you will get these templates in zero. So under business, you go to the invoice. And for the bills, you just go to the bills. And then you will see here import. And then you will see the download template file. So you just have to click on that. And here, download zero import templates. Now, once you have that information, you just have to fill out the information for the mandatory fields at least in order for you to successfully or completely import the templates. Now, I have a sample here for the sales invoice template. Some mandatory fields are the contact name, Invoice number, invoice date, due date, description, quantity, unit amount, account, code, and tax type. So this is how it will look like. So all the items with asterisk. So contact name, invoice number, the invoice date, due date, description, quantity, the amount, account, code, tax type. So those are the mandatory fields, okay? So I'll just highlight those items in order for you to distinguish the mandatory items. Okay, as to the optional fields, so you can have an option to add the email address, the address of the, your either your customer or your vendor or supplier, then the city, region, country, Reference, inventory item code, tax amount, tracking name, tracking option, currency, and branding theme. So let's see where you need to put those items. So here, so the email address, the address, the city, region. We have as well postal code, the country, the reference here. Here, the inventory item code. You can also have as well the discount column. And then the tax amount, tracking name and options, and the currency and branding theme. So here, using these fields, you can have an option to populate it first with all the information. So I have a prepared a sample here. So customer name, and then the invoice number, and then the date, and all the things that mostly are the mandatory fields. So I make sure that all the mandatory fields are being populated. Now, I have an option here to add the tax amount, the tracking name, and the tracking option. So where do you find this option? I think the tracking category. So you make sure that you are copying the correct tracking name from your tracking category. So in this example, I will be using the tracking categories as branch here. So branch A, B, and C. So I have here as well branch and then branch A and the rest. Okay. And then the currency. Now, if your invoice or supplier bill has a multiple accounts being used. So for example, in this case, I want to separately record the sales and this commission. So I'll just go to the chart of accounts just to verify the account code that I will be using. So here the sales and sales commission. So I want to split it up. So what you will need to do is add another line item. 
make sure it has the same customer name. And the very important detail is the invoice number. You need to make sure that it has the same invoice number series. And then the account code. So you just make sure that it has a separate account code as according to the split of the account. So that's how it will track and it will capture the multiple accounts in one invoice. So if you have multiple like two or more, you just add another line item for that. So now this is ready to be imported. So all you need to do is to make sure that this is saved under a CSV comma delimited format and once you've done saving it you are now good to import it now under the sales features dashboard you click again the import so i'll show you again just in case you missed on how to do it so under sales overview you will see here import and then you just have to browse the file that you have prepared and you will have an option as well to select. Would you like to update the contact address details? So if you have added an updated address for your contacts, like for your customer details, so you just have to click yes. If not, if you don't want to update, then you just have to ignore it. And the amount that you have put here under unit amount, if the amount here are tax exclusive, you have to select tax exclusive. If it's inclusive, you have to select tax inclusive. So you need to be careful because you have put a tax amount here and you got to make sure that if the tax amount is inclusive, it should be a proper amount, of course. So in this case, my example is a tax exclusive amount. So I just have to click the tax exclusive and click import. Now it will prompt you to, it contains 17 new draft invoices will be imported. You have to make sure that it's correct. So it's 17 items. Okay. So you just have to click the complete import. Zero will import it as draft first. So you have a chance to check and verify all the important transactions before you approve anything. Okay. Because the problem here, though zero has a bulk importation of transaction, zero has no ability to have a bulk removal or a deletions of all the transactions that you have entered. So you need to make sure before you approve any transactions you have imported, you need to make sure that all the informations are correct. So here, the contact name, the date, due date, the invoice number. Then the sales, as what I've said earlier, it has been split into two, the sales and the commission. So I think everything is already captured. What I need to do, either I approve individually, I'll open this individually and approve individually, or I'll do the one-time approval of every imported transaction. So here, I'll just click on that. So that's it. That's how you will do the importation on the sales side. Now, as to the bill side, actually it has the same requirement. You just need to make sure that you also fill out all the information or populate all the information with the asterisk, the mandatory fields. That's it. And then you have an option to fill out as well the optional items. So in this case, for the bill side, you can have an option to use this inventory item code here. So in the inventory item code, you have an option to set up a product item or a service item here. If you want to use these features, you can as well import that in our importation features. Okay, so under in the inventory code, I just copied all the information. So this is GB1, all this information. I just make sure that I have copied everything, all the information that is needed, like the account. So the account that I have used is correct. And the unit price. So either you override the information for the unit amount or just copy the information here that you have set up. Okay. And then the tracking name and the tracking options, as of what I've said earlier, 
you need to make sure that you have copied or the tracking name is the same with the tracking name you have set up in zero with the same tracking options. Otherwise, it will not capture correctly. Okay. And that's it. I just need to save this as a CSV file again, this time on the build side. Okay. So just go to zero and then I'll go to purchases, business, purchase overview, and then click on the import. I just have to select the file that I want to import. And then the same, you will be prompt to answer the questions for the contract address details update and if the amount is tax inclusive or inclusive. So in this case, I put a tax rate, but there is no but, meaning there's no but computation in this importation. Okay, so I just have to select that one and then confirm. So I have 10 new bills to import and that's correct. And I have to complete the importation. So see, I just need to open it and check if it has captured correctly. So it has captured everything correctly. Okay, the amount, the quantity, and that's it. So I'll just have to approve everything one time. And everything is approved already. So that's it. That's how you will do the basic importation in zero.